Hey, what's up? It's Marco from Energy 1069. It's Wednesday, August 21st, 2019, and these are your trending stories for today. Spider-Man might be out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is potentially huge news for Spider-Man fans, and Marvel fans for that matter, because as you know, Marvel doesn't own the film rights to the character. Sony does. But several years ago, the two studios made a deal to share Spider-Man so they could make him part of the MCU, and he became a huge part of it. But Marvel wanted a bigger piece of the pie, so Sony said no, and now, as it currently stands, the deal is over. Sony is still developing two more Spider-Man movies with Tom Holland, plus a Venom sequel and other films involving Spider-Man characters. But extracting him from the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going to take some very Doctor Strange level magic. I mean, he's been a major part of the universe since Captain America's Civil War. I mean, imagine Marvel having to move forward pretending he was never there. And on top of that, the two Spider-Man movies, Homecoming and Far, Far From Home, are intertwined with the MCU. The two villains he faced, the Vulture and Mysterio, were both fueled by their hatred of Tony Stark. Plus, Tony made all of Spider-Man's suits, and he was even in Homecoming. So I don't know how you can get rid of that. The mythologies are so intertwined at this point, it's hard to see how either studio could continue without the other. So it's hard to believe that either would be willing just to end the partnership. But we will see. It is crazy. A man threatens to kill his best friend over a $10,000 bet that the earth is flat. Now, I don't know if this phrase has actually ever been uttered, but the flat earther here might not be the craziest person in this story. 36-year-old guy in New Zealand named Jamie Sutherland recently had dinner with a friend named Louis Lands. Now, they've known each other since elementary school, and Louis kept going on and on and on about how the earth isn't round. He then said he'd bet Jamie 10 grand that it was flat. So Jamie took him up on the offer because, hey, free money. Except Louis thinks all of the proof about the earth being round is part of a massive conspiracy. So there is no way to actually convince him. They ran into each other at a gas station later on, and Jamie told Louis he still owed him that $10,000, but Louis refu refused to pay. So Jamie lost it, and he threatened to kill him and his father with a crossbow. Gotta love Australia. If he didn't pay him the money, he said he was going to do it. So Louis called the cops, and they've been dealing with it ever since February. But on Monday, a judge dismissed all the charges, and no one has to pay the ten grand. Overall, Louis might still be the crazier one, though, because in court, he claimed the moon landings were also faked and that Albert Einstein was a plant by the government. And he also got 80 hours of community service to back that up in 2015 for joking that he had a bomb on an Air New Zealand flight. So he's not playing with a full deck. An Instagram influencer defends turning her motorcycle accident into an artsy photo shoot. Now, when you live your life on Instagram, I guess your brain eventually gets warped enough to see the gram worthiness of basically everything. There's a woman named Tiffany Mitchell who's an Instagram influencer and a lifestyle blogger in Nashville. And a few weeks ago, she got into a minor motorcycle accident. And then she turned the moment into an artsy photo shoot. She had a friend with her who was a photographer, and they took professional photos of Tiffany on the ground in pain, being tended to by a handsome dude. One of the photos featured a bottle of smart water that looked suspiciously like product placement. Well, Tiffany has been taking some heat online, as you can probably imagine, for turning her accident into an Instagram content. But she's also been accused of working in the smart water product placement, although both she and smart water deny it. When BuzzFeed interviewed her, she told them, quote, it's sad some people are taking it that way, unquote and then asked them not to write the story as it would, quote, draw negative attention. If you're going to pretend you're hurt on the side of the road after a motorcycle accident for an Instagram shoot, people are going to roast you online. I'm Marco. Those are your trending stories for today. Make sure you hit share, like, and comment, and tell me things that you like about the stories below in the comment section right here, and we'll do more of your trending stories tomorrow.